Hello friends, welcome back once again. Here is another a little bit more uh, interesting problem. I really love the problem here. Uh, now how to find out the, how to evaluate the limit of this, right? Uh, can you guess something? Uh, can you, can you, uh, means, I mean, can you think something how to solve it? You, you said right. Means we need to convert again in the some standard form, right? Uh, but how to find out the standard form? How to convert this all quantity into the standard form? And let me write one, one more time here. What is our standard form? For the cost I'm writing first limit when theta tends to 0, I mean angle tends to 0, cos of the angle equals to 1. And for the sine I'm writing, limit when angle tends to 0, sine of the angle over the angle equals to 1. So we need to convert in this standard results, right? How to convert? First let me write whatever we have got, limit when x tends to 0. Now ax plus x cos x over the b sin x. Here nothing is coming in my mind except this x. I'm just looking these two x. See here? I think we can take this x and x common, right? This x and x common. So let's take the common what happens and we'll check it out later this. x a plus cos x and then whole divided by b over sin x. Hey, we got the result, man. See, x we can just put in just, just below the sin x. Now see what happens. Limit x tends to 0, right? I'm putting here a plus cos x as it is here, right? And whole divided by again b times, right? Sin x is there. And you know this x you can put inside, uh, sorry, below this x. Why? Because you know that a times b over the c is equal with b over the c uh, by a, right? I mean to say if it is 2 over 2 times 4 over 6 is there, then you can write 4 divided by 6 upon 2. That is again, you can check it out. Uh, you'll get the same value. 4 to the 8 over 6, right? And uh, here, uh, you can say like 2 over 3, you'll get 4 by 3. And here also you'll get the same thing, like 4 and 2 times 3. So 4 by 3. So don't confuse there, right? And we got the answer, right? So let's uh, uh, put the, uh, let's plug the value now, simply. Because x tends to 0. Now see, if you plug the value of x tends to 0, cos x, that is cos 0 will be 1 and b is a constant that doesn't affect and again sin x tends to 0 so sin, sin x over sin x over the x that's angle over the angle when angle tends to 0. So you're getting a plus 1 whole divided now b times 1. So our answer is a plus 1 divided by b that's our answer right. So simply like this we can solve the problems that was quite easy I think right. Uh, let's do some more problem and uh, we'll get more concept, alright? We'll be meeting in the next video. Bye-bye.